Drop my phone just then. Eh, you don't need it. Yep. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and we are playing West of Loathing, and we're going to fight a goblin monstrosity. It's always got to be fighting. Oh, well, yeah, we might not. Holy crap. If, if this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't want to know what is. Uh, hey, guys. Those jelly beans, can I be ha can I too having them? Oh, what? Our fruit rocks? No. No, not taking our fruit rocks. These being ours, not for you taking. Jeez Louise. Uh, what's your plan for dealing with the... Oh, yank a goblin off the pile and fight it, pop three off and fight them. The same again, except five of them. How ballsy are we feeling, Corwin? Oh, keep in mind that all those other goblins were like one-shotting you. I would go one at a time, to be quite honest. Oh. All right, the prudent choice from uh, from Corwin. Interesting. Wow, those jerks are... Yep. Wow, that was a very good call on your part, Corwin. Where did my mouse go? Fuck, there we are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. shit on a bag oh, of biscuits. Oh, no, wait, we might be okay. Are we okay? We're not okay. What's your spook damage? Nope, all right. Not enough. Knife um, damage, maybe? Um... Um, kerosene, hot damage, poison thing, <laughs> healy do. 20 damage is not enough damage, but it won't end. If okay. it won't end, All throw right. the dynamite, dynamite and then shoot him. And then shoot. And Hopefully there the will still be three or four more goblins that we need to beat, and we don't have dynamite anymore. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh. Or maybe, oh, this is an endless farming location. This is for grinding. We need to talk to them. Because this will just go on forever. Okay. Well, now but, we know. But not looking like you're eating them, a jar is still full. What eating? Fruit rocks not for eating. Fruit rocks just for looking at. You just looking at them? Not fitting through floor hole. Can't leave room. Fruit rocks only entertainment being. Good grief, that's sad. Uh, try to help them out. Okay, how about I teaching you something else for entertaining? Something better than fruit rocks looking at. Hmm, okay, sounding good. I agreeing. I not certain. What being better than fruit rocks looking at? Poker! You pull out a spare deck of cards and pick up a couple handfuls of cactus spikes off the floor to use as poker chips. You give the goblins a quick poker playing tutorial. Once they get themselves rearranged so they can see each other they can't see each other's cards, they take it to it pretty quick. Woo! Excellent. Good game. Well, yeah, so we didn't even need to fight those guys at all. Thankfully, because they were terrifying. Yeah, that was that was not great. That's at some point I might have to uh might have to grind if we're because I feel like we might be heading toward endgame here. Like mostly because of the uh Because we're running out of tracks. Exactly like we're running out of continent. Um so there's that. Now we go back to Roy's. Um off to the side of the trail, you spot a cactus that doesn't look quite right. Specifically, it doesn't look right because it has a goblin face. As you get closer, you become pretty sure that it is actually a goblin in a cactus outfit. It gives you some annoyed side eye and tries to wave you away, but the cactus arms aren't quite mobile. Do you know a guy called Cactus Bill? Shh! Go away! Away going! Talk to it! Why are you inside a cactus? Watching cactus herd for keeping safe from a predator. What predator? Any predator, desert tortoise, cactus eagle, other goblin. Now going away, you ruining my disguise. Well, I have no, uh, well, oh, we can leave him alone. Yeah. Cool. Hey, no reason to beat up that poor fella. Exactly. No, no reason Boys for. Boys beans. Oh, this is seriously making me like halfway dizzy. Well, how are you doing them jelly beans, kid? Got him! <laughs> Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like we're all here, too. The goblins d don't need any. It's a long and weird story. Well, never mind, then. Have a pie. You've done a swell job, kid. I've only got more... One more jar of them jelly beans missing. Then they stole my gang of damn hippies. Where? Gang of damn hippies, <laughs> he said. A dang of gang hippies. <laughs> Hippos! Why'd they take them? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking. All I know is that they took off head south a little bit west. Okay, I'll be right back. To the shroom cave! Bum bum bum, good thing you're already tripping balls. 
No, I have I, I I'm answering my eyes, Johnson. <laughs> answering my eyes, Johnson. Sorry, Watson. Answer my eyes, Watson. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> man. The look That's on That's a thumbnail if I ever saw one. Kill me. <laughs> I want to die. Oh, it's oh. worse now. It's worse. Oh, it's so mushrooms. jiggly. Oh, the mushrooms it hurts my eyes. Oh, do the mushrooms do anything? No. Okay, we're just walking through here. Oh. And enjoying all of this up. There's someone on the ground there. Oh, was I supposed to see? Okay. Cultus looks totally zonked out. Cultus muttering, twitching in his sleep. Mushroom crumbs litter the floor around him. Loot him. Loot him. <laughs> Loot him. Uh, mm. yeah. Okay. Some stuff. Human ashes. A burned scroll. Is there a second one here? Or is that... Oh, that's spores. That's deadly spores uh, being ejected into the air. Fantastic. Oh, hey. Dirty knapsack. Mushroom map. All right. Inventory. Checking out that Mushroom map. Mushroom map. Read it. We both shroom location and it shows a weird, convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X as this very cave. Dotted line originates from a picture of an army fort. Fort of Darkness. Uh-oh. All right, what's the scroll do? Examine it. The scroll's in bad shape and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced there must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. You stick the scroll in your journal. I should check that out. Necromancer journal. Open your necromancer journal. Lay diagram, but you don't know how to interpret it. You'll need to find somebody to help you. Somebody... Yeah, but there's... Ooh. Oh, okay. Find a cryptic note about hell cow energy. Later must be near a powerful source of it, but you don't know where such a source is. Looks like that's everything. Oh, it has probably something to do with those, uh, the buffalo pile. Yeah, probably. Because it's a giant pile of hell, hell cow. Or, or cow bones, which probably makes them hell cowy. So I guess we're going to the fortress? I think that might be our only option, maybe? Away! This is a good plan and could not lead to anything bad. Ah, uh, campfire that's dangerous. Nest of fire snakes, fight them! Alright, fire snakes, listen. I understand that you're getting us with some hot, but... Uh, think about this. You could stop right now. We can just be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be Probably friends? Probably you're about to shoot that Cause snake. Cause I shot him in his fucking face. That's all I got. I, I'm not even sure how to add to that song. You can't. It's perfect. You can't, you can't improve on perfection. That's just science. That is science. No lie. All right. Well, ugh, this sucks. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I think, I think math will be fine because they do, they do 31 a pop and I heal for 30. So they're only doing one. Yeah. Okay. Only doing well, one point of lasting damage. And this currently we're out. at 25. So as long as this doesn't take 25 rounds, we're fine. I mean, and if it took 25 rounds, then, you know. We just need to end the show right now. Just game we're over. Done. We took way too long fighting snakes. Yeah, it's just like, we're out. We're, we're going to go we're... play a different game, like backgammon. I don't know how to play backgammon. I don't want to play backgammon either, to be honest. It's one of those games I've never had even a remote interest in playing. Like, I... The biggest interest I've ever had in it was I had, like, one of those combo, uh, like, the like travel chess set. Mm. And then on the inside of the box, it had a backgammon board and backgammon pieces until we played with backgammon pieces the one time and lost them all. Mm. Um, that is a side effect when you play with backgammon pieces. Mm -hmm. The Ford of Darkness. But there's a peace sign on it. Hey, bro, we just want and peace and love. There's flowers in the cannons. Okay, this is happening. Yay. Come on into my tent, B. Hey. <laughs> the eye thing makes it so much better. This young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes, through, though hard wear has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. Wow, hi, a new face? My name's, um, one sec, Irene. She giggles. <laughs> Everyone here just calls me mushrooms. So I forgot sometimes. Howdy, Irene, I'm Grizzly. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back and I stepped in here and never got around to continuing, you know? We're all, we're a big happy family here and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh-huh. 
They're good for all kinds of things, you know? Which ones to pick if you want? I can sell you a few of my favorites. Okay, give me some mushrooms. A thousand meat? Jesus fuck. Like to buy a mushroom, it's a batch of extra groovy. You seen any fucking jelly beans, you you hack artist, I, you uh, gouging piece of shit? Yeah. I mean, uh, I had some jelly beans recently. I don't quite remember. Uh, they're in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't quite remember. Zip. Uh, it's a few parts of time away. I don't. What? <laughs> I don't know. Would you like to buy no, a mushroom? No, fuck your mushroom. I'm out. Oh, I don't know. Well, well the right, other guy we gotta had find. Say, maybe. No, we gotta find a lounge. That's not a lounge. That definitely not a lounge. That, that's def not her lounge, at least. Mm mm. Ah! That was so cool. This might be a lounge. This. Damn it! I only have snake <laughs> snake cracking one. Snake cracking and hog swallowing. Loot I it. love cracking snakes. All right, canteen. Check it. Last entry, the last entry says she was buried in plot 420 of the military cemetery up north. Mm -hmm. I didn't read the preamble to that, so I don't know what that is. Chemical bullets and smelling salt. Military manuals. Take a simple one. Mm -hmm. Cannon loading for idiots. <laughs> nice. Okay, Ooh, we got a silver bullet. Yeah, that's for the uh, werewolf. Mm-hmm. Maybe okay. that dance party room might have something. Oh, uh... I'll just wait. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Ooh. This tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students in an aerobic work. Oh, it's supposed to be aerobics. His voice is powerful, yet disconcertingly soft as he counts off. One and two and three and four. Excuse me. What's going on here? Exercise. You must strengthen the body. If the body is weak, the mind cannot be strong. Those two are one. Who are you? I'm Kurtz. My methods will usher in a new wage of power and will. Can I exercise with you? Uh, in those clothes? <laughs> Do you have the proper attire? Before muscle comes skin, before skin comes clothing. You look around, sure enough, everyone else is wearing the same striped pants, wearing a fuzzy hedge band. All right, well, we've got a headband. Let's, we will get nude and then wear just the headband. No, we'll try We'll try the headband. Do we really need the pants? Are we, is that what's happening here? One, two, yeah, exercise with you. No, oh, fuck. Mm. All right, well, back to the original hat then. Okay, well, we were wearing the headband before anyway, so now we're gonna continue wearing that. Um, break their fucking music box. Nope, okay. Can't talk to the students. Okay, well, that was really fucking helpful. <laughs> All right, maybe this is a lounge, because there's a couch. Woman is rocking back and forth, making... <laughs> as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. Er, hi. <laughs> uh, oh, hand her a jaw harp. What's this? It's a kind of musical instrument. You bite the narrow part, and then, well, basically do what you've been doing. She gives it a few experimental twangs and boings. If you get my knock, knock, knock. I'm sorry, audience. I'm very sorry. And then knocks out her <laughs> a sweet rib. I thought it said knocks out her teeth, <laughs> and that just wham. <laughs> wow, this thing's like a revolution. Thanks. I feel like maybe I should take this show on the road. Maybe try the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Sounds good to me. Thanks again. She leaves, plunking in the tw. <laughs> Plunking that twanger the whole way. <laughs> I... Hey, baby. I'm gonna plunk my twanger. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Um, I'm Todd. Grizzly, pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here, Todd? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? <laughs> like, which parts of the Monopoly board are currently owned by the mushrooms? They appear to have boardwalk. Right. <laughs> I'm kidding. There are actually a lot of interesting properties. They, they could be a real boon to the medication, medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders, oh, like the well, train stations. That's pretty interesting. What? The train fact station. that they can't get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh. 
Mm. Or that they can. You just added a can't in there. Eh, that's, you know, completely changes the... I see! <laughs> if you have any... That mushrooms... I can refine them into a more potent, horrible, i.e. a potion. Hehe. <laughs> you seen any jelly beans, motherfucker? Ha! Huh? No. Ha ha ha. I added a ha in there for some reason. I'm not interested in jelly beans Just unless there's Calvin some Ball kind with the of... fucking script now. <laughs> some kind of jelly bean that you completely blasted. I don't think that's a real thing. No, it is. I heard a guy in Frisco. Sure, that's what words are. That doesn't seem safe, you know. For kids. If you have any... <laughs> I can refine them into a more potent, horrible, i.e. a potion. Oh, you already read that. Alright, um... Do you know where Irene's Lounge is? Oh yeah, I do. Don't, uh... Don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind, but it's in the cave where we all get our mushrooms. Okay, who's the talking... I mean, uh... Hmm, I didn't see any lounge there. It's, you gotta be, uh... He jerks his head at the apparatus behind him and wings at you. Oh, you gotta be high to see the lounge somehow. Okay, so we have to go buy the stupid mushroom from that. Or maybe there's a way to get it. On the next episode, we'll look into this nonsense. Who do you think can rock a cowboy hat, me or Adam? Answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout-outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well, and we'll do our best to play them. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you have friends who would like our stuff, please show the videos around to them. <gasps> I ran out of breath there. Bye. See ya.